On today's easy tip, I'm going to show you how to take fan wires that normally go to a two pin header on your board, like on this Creality board here, to use them with a standard screw terminal like on our easy board. So let's get to it. So as you can see here, I've got a Creality board that has these always on fan headers. And I also have our easy board, which you notice it does not have those. We have a screw terminal for fans that are on all the time. So imagine these two wires are going back to fans that are on all the time. They could be a control box fan. They could be a hot end fan. Either way, we're going to need to adapt these to connect them into the screw terminal. The first method would be to unplug it, take some wire snips and just simply snip the end off and then strip the wires and put them into this terminal. Now, some people do not like snipping the ends off, so there is an alternative and they use a very common wire adapter that most people have laying around. And that's these little DuPont connectors. They usually come in strips like this and I'd recommend sticking with the colors of the wires, which would be red and black. And if you notice, you can just grab them and they peel right out of the pack. And to use these, all you need to do is match the red up with the red, the black with the black, just like this. And then put them into the end of the plug. And then we'll cut these and put them into the terminal instead of snipping the plug off. Now, I will recommend that you tape this so that way they don't come out and so that way they don't touch anything because if you look on these plugs, there's part of the contact exposed. So just put a little piece of tape over it here and wrap it around and that's it. So now we can cut up these wires that are just little cheap jumpers and strip them to put them in with this. So we have the other two wires that I cut the plug off here. Most of the time you have multiple fans, so I'll show you guys what to do when you have multiple fans. So all the wires should get stripped. And then twist all the reds together. And all the blacks. And now we have our positive and our negative wires. So if we look on our board here, you can see that the positive and negative are labeled plus is positive or the red and negative is minus or black. So we're going to take these wires and we're going to put them into each terminal here. Make sure you push it all the way into the terminal and then tighten it down. Give it a little tug. Make sure it stays in and then do the other one for the positive and they should stay in. So that's all there is to it. You can either just snip the plug off like we did on this one, or you can use the little male DuPont ends to go into here, tape it off. And now if we ever need to take this plug off, we can just pull really hard and it'll come right out. It's also easier if you take the tape off, but you get the idea. So if we need to reconnect this, we still have this plug, but let's say you did cut the plug off and you need to go back to this board. This board does not have an always on screw terminal. So all you would do is insert the wires that you stripped in with your power wires to the main power input terminal. And you can see these actually have positive and negative labeled. So I would twist these in with the main power input wire and then put both of them into this before I tighten it down. And that's all there is to it. So as you can see, there's two different ways you can get those wires into a screw terminal if they do have a two pin connector. Me personally, I usually just snip them off, but I understand some people don't want to snip off the plugs in case they got to revert to the old board or it just makes them uncomfortable. So a really simple workaround is use some of these little cheap DuPont jumpers. You can get these on Amazon for like $5 for like five or six bunches of these. They're really cheap. Or if you did buy an Uno bootloader kit from us, we do include these type of wires in the kits. So you can use those for your fans. One thing to note is if you notice, these come in all sorts of different colors. You don't have to use the red and the black. What's important is that you remember what color you use for which wire. So let's say I had a 
green and a blue, and that's all I had, you can still use the green and the blue for your fan. Just remember which one went to red on the two pin plug and which one went to black. So if I put the blue into the black wire, blue is now my negative. And if I put the green into the red wire side, that's now my positive. So just make sure that you remember if you do use a different color other than red and black, which ones went to which wire on the plug. So that's all there is today for this easy tip. I hope you guys learned something and as always, happy printing.